It's another beautiful day today and today we are heading to Medina City. It is also called the Silent City. It is located right in the middle of Malta Island and it also used to be capital of Malta country. We are traveling with a tour bus and it is one of the most comfortable transports to use on the island and it also gonna bring you around all the main spots. Ticket per person would be 30 euros. Of course you can also take a local bus which runs every day every 15 minutes from Valletta Autobus Central Station to Medina. Driving in Medina City itself with a car is not allowed unless you are some kind of special person or a delivery service. They keep it silent, even you will see some signs in a city to keep silent. And anyways, I guess driving on Malta that will be too much hassle. Oh, especially if you are from Europe and driving on the right side, because whole Malta Island are driving on the left side, same as England, because it used to be an England's colony and some things are still left over there. Malta used to be UK colony until 1964 and even today you will meet those red phone boxes and red mailboxes all around Malta Island, which I personally find pretty cute. So tour bus brings you right to the entrance to Medina city, very comfortable, and here are horses already waiting for you for a tour around Medina City. Welcome to Medina City! So Medina got pretty wild history. Medina dating back 4000 years and it is older city than Valletta, which is present capital of Malta. Medina was built by Phoenicians and conquered by Normans, but later run by Knights of Malta. So there we go. Medina, number one place to visit in Malta. This is basically the entrance to Medina city. And it's very busy, many people are coming here every day. The Knights of Malta Order was renting city for almost 300 years from Maltese kings. And Medina is built as fortress to protect city from attacks and robberies. City walls are very high, streets are very long and narrow, which is also providing cool air during the hot weather. So it does several good things for this city. And in addition, it makes it look authentic and stuck in medieval time, which brings very special atmosphere. And its original name used to be Melita. So when Romans conquered Malta in 218 BC, they renamed Medina to Melita, which means honey. During that time, Malta flourished under Roman rule, and it was known for honey and for sailcloth. Here lives a little bit more than 300 inhabitants, and it's about one square kilometer big. It is a really beautiful place and it's one hour is enough to walk around here if you want to visit museums, coffee places or something else then you probably need two hours and that would be perfect. Medina is city of scenery and that is why it is so beloved by cinema makers. Here also was shot the famous movie series as Game of Thrones. Another interesting thing to notice is how fascinating our door handles looking. 
They are all different designs and made from cast iron and brass. They make buildings look somehow special and unique, even though they are very, very old door handles. It is also possible to buy those here in souvenir shops. You will find many different door handles in very different design. The Medina city is still confined within its walls, but it is contiguous with the town of Rabat, which takes its name from the Arabic word suburb. You have seen that city right before Medina while we've been driving on a tour bus. Panoramic view from Medina City. We walked a lot through the old town and I mentioned before that two hours is enough for this city but I got to say that you might need much more time than that if you want to know Medina closer. Now it's time to find something to eat. And by the way, Twisties is the local crunchy snack made from corn so I grabbed that too. Whole Malta country making an amazing pastry. This particular place is offering several types of pies, so I took the tuna pie, which was really good and we also tried the apple pie. And of course you can buy more souvenirs over here. Not just door handles, but also mugs, honey and much 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 more. I decided to take wild thyme honey, because Malta is land of honey and you have to try it if you are here. So seriously, it's so tasty and so unusual. All over the Malta you're gonna see lots of night figures. And you might wanna grab one too because of its history. And also some cheesy ones like these. And of course let's not forget magnificent door handles. So shiny! So we got back right where we started our journey. We are at the entrance to Medina city. This is only way to get into this city and only way to get out. Sadly, we didn't have here whole day to spend, but only a few hours. It was still beautiful run. Now I just have to hope that I come back here and do it once more, but more carefully. <laughs> 